called Nelly V Ludacris. That was funny. Did you watch that? Nelly V Ludacris. Um, that was a versus bat rap battle that they have, right? Or versus battle that kind of Swiss beats is basically set up. But happened over the weekend. They essentially get to play. I think I'm not sure how many tunes it is, but they get to pick a selection of tunes. I think it's about 15. Maybe you might be certain they get to play. Uh, they go one one each. They do it on Instagram Live. You basically tune in via whoever's b- battling in that actual thing. And then you kind of view on your phone or your desktop, especially since now they've allowed you to watch Instagram Live via your desktop browser. Obviously, those kind of things work, you know, very well based on the person's internet connection. And Nelly's internet connection just completely failed him during that battle. But in internet connection aside, what it made me realize was, number one, that era of hip-hop, just kind of formed a different caliber a different sort of gravy of uh, hip-hop artists they have legitimate hits and it made me think about the hits that we have nowadays whether or not they're actually legitimate because i remember that was one of my criticisms i used to have against parties like work it and like you know uh your, what was it called um oh, what's the other one called i forgot the fucking other one what was it called right but a lot of those hip-hop parties that we have here in london they'd have a tendency to always play like really old stuff and this is during i don't know this might have been this is my 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 point of view of this might have happened during the whole drake heyday right or rick ross kind of resurgency where it didn't really make sense why they kept going back to all these classic songs when there was so many good when there was so much good shit happening in the moment right but then what i ended up thinking watching this nelly and ludicrous rap out is that legitimately especially if you've dj that's the thing that i realized quite quickly sometimes when I'd go and DJ on the weekend and a really big tune popped, you know, dropped on the Thursday or the Friday and I'd want to play it straight away because I thought everyone else was listening to it, it would get fucking crickets in the club, crickets, right? It happens on so many different occasions. And what you realise is that most everyday people, average everyday guy or girl, they don't necessarily listen to all the new stuff when it comes out, as soon as it comes out. They listen to it when they can get around to it. But most of their life, their soundtrack to their life has been formulated um, around these classic hip-hop songs. They all basically grew up on them. They heard it in the background when their mum is cleaning in the kitchen and they're sort of fucking around. They've heard it played uh, in school discos and house parties. They're very familiar with those old school classics. So they have an affinity. They have an emotional connection to them that I just don't think someone like, you know, worst case scenario, someone like the, like the baby could he ever really have that same emotional connection will people ever have that same emotional connection to the baby as they did with you know hearing nelly hot in here for the first time in the house party and it was actually hot like will that actually happen i don't think so and i think that's what made me realize when watching the verses like these guys even though the the battle itself was very much it favored ludicrous more so than the nelly because i think ludicrous probably popped better at the time his collaborations were a little bit more intentional he obviously did some amazing stuff with timberland with pharrell um some of his some of his guest features were out of this world but i just think in general the way he kind of raps where he flows the kind of beats that he jumps on it probably suits him he suits the style of a that kind of battle more so than nelly sort of stuff right um but still nelly uh, you know for his level of artistry and his level of talent and ability he was still able to sell, you know, a gazillion amount of albums. And this was back in the day when, you know, album sales actually counted. Nowadays with streaming, it's sort of hard to really to really judge who's really popular or who's really kind of penetrating culture because stream, especially if you have autoplay on your Spotify, you can just catch loose stream just because you're just there, right? You're in a space. But back in the day, you had to be intentional and actually go and buy somebody's album specifically listen to what they're playing and then make a decision whether or not you want to listen to somebody else through, through basically word of mouth but with streaming everyone essentially gets a fair go at the weapon and everyone gets a chance to to have their song sit next to drake or whatever it may be um but i think yeah so w- watching that it made me appreciate um nelly for what he was it also made me appreciate how much of a talent uh ludicrous was but it also made me question as to what really What's really going to test, last the test, uh, last the test of time from this generation, this era of hip hop that we have at the moment? What's really going to, you know, what are we, what are we going to listen to in twenty years' time and think, oh my god, I remember when this dropped? I don't really know if we have many, um, and that's really the kind of challenge a lot of these guys have. You know, you look at someone like a Tory Lane, it's like, has he really got a tune or a couple of tracks that he can play now and you drop in a club and everyone will go nuts and go crazy? I don't know. That's the issue. 
it's really uh, it's really weird the kind of fame people have now at the moment they all i think everyone has a lot of money so i think there's more money to give there's more fans out there there's more revenue streams so i think the money sort of like blinds you as to who's really successful but i guess honestly if you've ever dj'd and you've ever actually had to play hip-hop songs you soon realize exactly who's actually permeated culture and who's actually really popular what people actually listen to day by day i remember i used to do this thing but i don't do it anymore because i don't usually go on the central line anymore to work but when i used to go on the central line it's really packed i'd always kind of like uh spy people's phones and see what they're listening to right especially if it was like young girls or young boys just to kind of catch a vibe as to like what they're actually listening to day to day because what people say they listen to on social is different to what she actually you know is a soundtrack to their morning commute and you'd be shocked at some of the old stuff people are still listening to like i don't know a drake album from you know a drake album that's not recent maybe the the one just before it uh a remix track that came out ages ago some old school fucking uk garage track like just some weird stuff you'd be like oh okay this is what people are actually listening to not what they say they listen to on social when they want to seem cool or seem like they're with the times um so yeah that 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 battle was funny um again the audio issues are gonna hold it back i hope hopefully I don't know how they're going to be able to do that, but if they if, if Instagram could implement something or maybe work alongside with Sweet Speeds in terms of sending the people that participate in the battles a little pack of how they can get the best audio via Instagram, that would probably be quite beneficial because, you know, for some reason, Ludacris is, I think at the time, Lenny did say he was going through some sort of storm wherever he lives, right? It was affecting his Wi-Fi, but um just the sound alone is probably a thing that you'd want to get set up beforehand but it was great to see nelly kind of getting really drunk really loose he was feeling himself a lot m way more than ludicrous was ludicrous's face was classic in the whole thing he had a complete stone face looked like you know he has the probably the personality of a brick but you know when it comes to actually artistry and making hit records that's the how he speaks he doesn't speak like us you know he doesn't conversate in these kind of normal rambling chit chats he only speaks in hits when this he gets on that board you know what time it is but yeah i thought that was really funny man that was a really good battle i recommend you check it out it probably is available on youtube to restream again they'll put they put the playlist up on spotify i'm pretty sure of the hits they played in the track for track so definitely keep an eye out for that if you're that way